you, President Trump. This is a huge day for the nuclear industry. Uh, mark this day on your calendar. Uh, this is going to turn the clock back on over 50 years of overregulation of an industry. Uh, America has always, American greatness has always come from innovation, and we were very innovative. We led post World War II in all things nuclear, uh, but then we've been stagnated. We've choked it with uh, overregulation. Uh, today, Will is going to walk us through a series of four executive orders. Uh, each of these uh, help attack. Uh, separate issues that have held back this industry. And with us today, we've got a number of CEOs from the industry representing some of our largest nuclear providers, but also a big change. This is a time when, when capital and competition has finally come to this industry. We've got venture capital. We've got startups coming into all aspects of small modular nuclear. And we've also got an EO that's talking about the importance of us having a secure supply chain of being able to get that fuel load here in the United States as opposed from, from foreign sources. This has impacts on national security, on our defense. Uh, and again, President Trump uh, here today has committed to uh, energy dominance. Uh, and part of that energy dominance is that we've got enough electricity to win the AI arms race with China. What we do in the next five years related to electricity is going to determine the next 50, because this is the first time in history where electricity can be translated into intelligence. And we need that intelligence for every aspect of our economy, but also for defense. Uh, Pete Higseth in, in Department of Defense has been a key part of this, uh, and, and this is going to help us make sure that we're uh, providing the defense we need, where we need that AI, need the electricity, but also to secure our bases here at home and around the world.